Hey there. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. <laughs> this is Dave Kelm. Uh, Milk Punch is the channel. Uh, you know, I need to post a picture. <clears throat> I have a good friend I worked with uh, years and years and years ago uh, at a state agency, and then um, uh, we our careers kind of paralleled back and forth, and, and he... Uh, uh, well, and by parallel, I mean he was much smarter with his career, and uh, uh, he was able to retire a couple, uh, but maybe a year ago, maybe two years ago. Uh, I am far, far, far away from retirement. However, he is a bourbon lover, and over the 4th of July weekend, he sent me a pic, uh, a picture that is, uh, that he uh, and his bride enjoy a good bourbon milk punch. So he sent me that. I should post that. Uh, so thank you very much, John, for that. Um, real quickly today, oh, subscribe, please, if you don't mind. Uh, that would be great. Uh, today, though, uh, you know, this is a much, this is probably a topic for a much, much longer, deeper video. But let me tell you something. The whole password industry is out of their ever-loving minds, okay? So, we purchased, Michelle and I, we have had the same bed for years and years and years and years and years. And it's been a fantastic bed. Uh, it is uh, one of those inflatable ones, uh, you know, the sleep number ones. Uh, and we got it four, three houses ago. And it's been great. It's been great. No problems. The last couple, last couple, maybe the last few months, it seems like it's been nah, not really holding, holding its inflation ratio or whatever they call it. Anyway, so we, so we decided 15 years is enough. It is now going to be down in the guest room. We're going to buy a new sleep number, which we did. And after 15 years, imagine that technology has changed, and now you can control your bed with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi phone app okay that's whatever fine everything's an app I lay in bed and uh, set my set my bed click my bed whatever it seems kind of stupid seems kind of useless considering they also give you a remote to do it so why do I need an app so I can monitor it from when I'm not at the house this is dumb all that being said though once you log in and not only do you log in but you log into your that woman has got to hit somebody you log in into your half of the bed which really anyway in order to do that on your app you have to set up your profile and part of your profile of course is a user id and a password except there are eight rules to set your password up for your stupid bed eight rules eight I didn't even know there was such a thing. I don't think my bank requires eight rules. No, I had to have a capital letter and a lowercase letter and a number and a special character and it couldn't be your last name and it can't be the street you live on and it can't be the street that your first girlfriend lived on back in junior high. It can't be all these things. It's completely insane. And you're just like, who, the, who in the hell is going to hack my bed and what, deflate it? What, what, they're gonna get some secret information about the Dave Kelm's sleeping habits? I don't care. My password should be able to be one, two, three, if I wanted to be, for a bed. No, 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 super, super secure. It's a secure system they invented in Switzerland, and you know, if you can, it would be great if you could use German as part of your password. It was just like, honestly. Now look, I get it. Right? People are hacking, people are stealing identities, people are doing all kinds of crap every single day. But some of these companies that you have to get an app or you have to do this or you have to do that, and then they take themselves to the point where it's like you work for the CIA and you have to come up with, you know, a 32 digit, you know, encrypted code key in order to inflate or deflate your bed five goddamn PSI. I mean, what the hell are we coming to? And that's your Dave Kelm rant of the day. Feels free to subscribe. You gotta subscribe to get more of this excellent content. See ya.